everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Suhail and I make bookish videos here on YouTube so if you like reading make sure you check out the rest of my videos and consider subscribing today we're gonna be going over my 2024 reading goals I normally don't have reading like well not no goals in general I don't like to set myself up for failure because I typically never stick to any goals I have made lifestyle changes over the years but it wasn't something that you know like I decided to start on one day and then it completely changed you know what I mean it took a few you know back and forths of doing it and then going back and then doing it again and then keep doing it until it kind of like stuck you know what I mean it wasn't like something that I decided to change and it just stuck the first time but this year I feel like I am putting more effort not just in books but like in my whole life to not consume as much if you guys don't know I just moved to Europe in October and obviously there's so many countries around me that I want to be able to travel to and when I travel I don't like to go in with a budget I like to just go and buy whatever I want and eat whatever I want and just don't have like limits so for that reason i'm gonna basically focus on saving money for my travels and with that comes living a little bit more frugally and i do spend a lot of money on books i did try to not buy as many books last year and i feel like i did re really really well i mostly bought second hand which was one of my goals and i'm glad i did because i thought that because europeans are more sustainable they were gonna have more secondhand bookstores and honestly i don't have a secondhand bookstore near me at all like i actually have to go to like maybe munich and that's like two hours away so they're not as accessible as i thought they were so i am so glad that i got enough secondhand books bookstores secondhand books to fill my bookshelves with my favorite books and i did find some gems when i did so i do not regret it but this year i am not gonna buy any books i have completely made up my mind i will buy stuff like ruthless vows this is the first book that i bought this year and i was on a hunt for it so when i bought it it was because i was actively looking for it it wasn't just me going into a bookstore and then i saw it and i was like mm, i'm just gonna get it i actually went to prague the last weekend of 2023 and i was looking for this book and i didn't find it and i ended up not buying any books because i went with the intention of only buying this one and if i didn't buy it then i wasn't gonna buy anything else and that's kind of like the vibes that i'm going with not the vibes but that's kind of like the intention and the goal of this year to only buy the books that i either am anticipating like this one or books that i have already read that i absolutely loved and i want them as part of my collection and i'm obviously gonna try to get it secondhand if i can i feel like i went on a tangent i will be talking about that more in depth but yeah let's get into the reading goals i have five of them so yeah let's get right into it so my first reading goal is to read every single book in my physical tbr i have a cauldron no <laughs> I have a cauldron and in here if you guys can see I have all of my unread books This is my physical TBR jar and I will be doing more reading vlogs where I pick a random book and Force myself to read it or get rid of it. So that is like my first reading goal I will be going over every single book that I own by the end of the year I don't want to own any books that I have not read So because I will not be buying any books and I'm trying to go through the ones that I already have If I do want to read something that I don't own I am only gonna use Libby so basically which is what I did in 2023 I feel like 75% mm, of the books that I read I read through Libby through the library and then I bought them if I love them which is kind of like what I'm trying to do but I feel like I'm gonna be more strict this year I also have new libraries and my Libby I will link two videos down below from another youtuber he has a lot of libraries that you can sign up with like an e-library card so you don't have to physically live in the area or you know turn in paperwork and id and everything so i already had my library from colorado my library from south carolina and then the military um library on my libby so i already had three which is a lot but now i have three more so i have broward county library i have san jose public library and then i have harris county public library which i don't know where they're from i just got them from those videos so i will link those in the description box so you guys can get them but yeah i feel like i have three libraries in my libby like that's more than enough um content i guess like enough books 
for me to go through and I don't have to do long you know holds because I have a chance in six libraries to get one book so I feel like it's motivating me to only sticking to library books and I also have my Kindle so it's not like I have to do audiobooks only or read on my phone which I don't like I can just use my Kindle and if I really like a book and I truly truly enjoyed it where like I'm obsessed then I will add it to my bookshelf which I reorganized I know I did like a bookshelf like organization tour but that was more like unpacking um, I actually moved them around so that I can have the bottom to empty I currently have the books that I'm selling which are on my pango books if you guys are interested in that I will link that in the description box as well most of them are like five bucks if they're paperbacks and then the hardbacks are ten dollars so that's kind of like my pricing normally but yeah I have both bottom shelves um, ready for new books and I feel like I have made enough space you know what I mean I don't think that I will be filling up those two bookshelves but if not I feel like I am no longer looking for like the perfect aesthetic so I can just stick books you know on top of other books like horizontally it's not you know what I mean like I like the cluttered look a little bit more nowadays so yeah I don't think I'm gonna be buying new bookshelves or anything I'm just gonna like stick them wherever they fit and yeah that's kind of like my first reading goal which is going through my physical tbr all right so i already got a little bit into my second reading goal which is no buying new books and like i said i'm going to be trying to do the library i'm going to try to do my physical tbr but that's it everything else i do have some exceptions i have ex um, special editions of books i have already read so for example like if they come out with like a beautiful um cover for divine rivals i know fairy loot has one that i absolutely loved and i if i ever find it i will for sure buy it i will not buy it for 300 dollars like you can get it now on pango like i refuse to do that but if i find it cheaper then i will buy it because it's one of my favorite books and it's a special edition so those are like kind of like exceptions that i am willing to make another one is i can use money from selling books to buy new books so if i sell books through pango i can use that money to buy new books and i'm gonna try to stick to like buying only books that i have already read that i truly loved and try to get them secondhand but if i buy for example from a bookstore on pango and they have like a discount and you, you have to get like i don't know 35 dollars worth of books and the one that i want is 20 dollars, i will be getting like a 15 dollar one to make you know to reach the level for the discount so that's kind of like a little bit of an exception and then the last exception is if i travel i am allowed to buy a book in that place so if i go to like paris or something like that i can get a book so that i can have that memory and whenever i read it it's like i bought this book in paris you know what i mean but i am gonna try to still stick to secondhand so if i go to paris and i buy books i am gonna try to buy them secondhand Books are so popular nowadays and obviously not everyone loves every single book that they read. So I feel like secondhand books are more available nowadays. So I don't really see the point of buying a new one unless you can get a secondhand, obviously. All right, the second one is one that I actually did and then I deleted it is no reading goal. So like no number reading goal. I normally do 50 every single year on Goodreads because it's realistic. It doesn't put too much pressure, but I feel like even 50 is a little bit of a pressure because like what if I have a bad year and I don't want to read 50 books you know what I mean I feel like I don't like being under pressure like the other day I was on a cozy game red subreddit and they asked what is like your must for a cozy game and I was like no pressure I hate being under pressure if I know that someone is waiting on me I just feel like anxious and I cannot function so whenever I'm playing video games if I feel like my life is at risk like I don't know if you guys have played Fae Farm but whenever you go into the dungeons like there's like you know the people and other people but like the characters the NPCs are attacking you and I just don't like that I don't like you know when I'm playing and like try to survive or like have a number that I have to reach for like a certain time I just I don't like being under pressure and I feel like the Goodreads reading challenge is just too much pressure for me I try to not do a reading goal last year but I feel like they kept asking you know what I mean like the whole month of January they were like you haven't set up your reading goal yet they were send me emails send me notifications and it's like okay and i just did like 50 and then that's it this year i set it up to 52 which is one book per week which is pretty realistic for me but i decided that i'm just not gonna do any i'm just not gonna do any reading goal i don't have like a certain number that i want to reach i want to enjoy reading again and i feel like this also has to do with the fact that i have a youtube channel i feel more pressure now to read it feels a little bit like a chore like homework because i have to read so that i can talk about books in my videos and it's like taking the fun out of reading a little bit so this year i decided to just focus on 
reading whatever I want whenever I want and if I end up with like a three book reading wrap up at the end of the month then that's just what it is. The next one is reading less or try to read more books that are not popular. So like I said with YouTube, it's starting to make reading feel like a little bit of like a job. I focus on reading books that are really popular and I didn't like, I wasn't active on social media as much as I was my whole life in 2023. So I was not able to keep up as much, but I do feel like with Goodreads, you can tell which books are popular and obviously I still have Instagram and I log in at least like once a day so I feel like it's hard not to fall for the hype and to want to read books that are popular so that people can click on my videos and you know what I mean like use them as clickbait it's like if you guys want to watch my videos you guys will you know what I mean like I don't want to like focus my channel on only reading books that are popular I want to discover new books and recommend books to people like I would rather have my channel be a, a channel that recommends books you've never heard about versus me talking about a popular book that every other youtube channel has talked about already you know what i mean or that are we're gonna talk about regardless so i just feel like just like the reading goal is taking the fun out of reading for me and as much as i love you know what i mean like my reading taste is a little bit basic i do love me some fourth wing some akatar i feel like Social media is saturated with the same books over and over again. And I watched this channel, I will insert her picture, but her name is Allie, Allison Pages, I think it's called. The books that she reads, like she reads a lot of graphic novels, which is not, I mean, I like them, but I don't like to read them as much as she does. But I feel like the books that she reads that are not graphic novels are always books that I have never read or heard of before. And I feel like, not that I'm trying to do my channel like hers, obviously, but I feel like when I watch her channel, it just feels like so refreshing and so different that I feel like I should just focus on that. I should just make videos about books that, not necessarily books people have never read about before, but more underrated books, if that makes sense. And then my last reading goal is to try not to use Goodreads as much. It goes back to like the whole being influenced on Goodreads. I feel like because everybody uses Goodreads, it's really hard not to fall for like overhyped books. And I feel like there's also like this pressure of having to like, put into words what I thought about the books because people are following me for a reason. And I feel like I want to try to use Storygraph more this year than Goodreads. I'm still gonna be updating my Goodreads, but I feel like I'm just gonna do like currently reading, read, and then the rating, and then that's it. I'm not gonna be updating as I read the book. I'm not gonna be doing that long of a review. I will focus more on reviewing on Storygraph. I feel like I like the setup of Storygraph a little bit better. And I feel like when I got Storygraph back in the day, it was very new. There was a lot of books that were not in the system. And I just opened a new account this weekend and I realized that there's a lot more books this time. And I don't know, I just feel like I like the way that you can review books like 4.5 or 3.5, 3.75. I feel like the rating is way better. And whenever you read a book, you can put like if it's character driven, if it's plot driven, if the main focus of the book is like flaws of the characters, um, you can put if the book is diverse or not. It's just more in depth and less thinking. Like I feel like I'm just answering questions versus like having to write, well, this book is diverse and this book is pl plot driven. Like I can just hit yes, no, you know what I mean? And then add the rating that I actually want to give it, which is like, 4.25, 4.5, 4.75. It's not like Goodreads where it has to be like four or five, three stars, you know what I mean? So I want to focus more on using Storygraph, which I will link down below as well so you guys can follow me there. I still haven't set it up, like I don't even have a profile picture or anything yet, but I am gonna try to be more active on Storygraph and only use Goodreads for like updating the amount of books that I read. So yeah, those are all of my goals. I hope I motivated you to kind of like follow your instinct and just do whatever you want and what makes you happy regardless of what other people think. I feel like we sometimes focus on, oh, I want to read a hundred books so that I can say that I read a hundred books when nobody really cares. Like if you put it on your Instagram that you read a hundred books this year Some people might be like, oh wow, that's cool. And then they're gonna forget about it They're not gonna be like, well, I remember 50 years ago when Suhail read a hundred books good for her Like nobody really cares. Everyone is just focused on their lives You know what I mean? Like people might be happy for you and excited for you, but they're not it's not that serious You know what I mean? It's not something that you have to kind of like force yourself to do for like one second of attention from like someone that you don't really care about you know what i mean and i also hope that i motivated you to expand 
your taste and try out new books that you have never heard about that nobody talks about on social media and bring more attention to authors that are more underrated so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit the like button it really does help my channel and yeah i will see you in my next one